Welcome. This is the 19th in my series of climate mythbusters, and the myth I'm going to bust today is the claim that somebody changed global warming to climate change because the globe was no longer warming. Let's go to the myth conception itself. The argument that they've changed the name of global warming has been used for nearly two decades now. But let's take a recent example from the conmander and thief, uh, Donald Trump. He recently is quoted as saying, they changed the name from global warming to climate change after the term global warming just wasn't working. It was too cold. This is just a game of false equivalency and semantics. Climate change is not synonymous with global warming, so they can't be used interchangeably. Global warming is the rapid warming of the Earth over the last century. Climate change is the change in one or more weather parameters over a specified period and area. Thus, global warming is just one type of climate change. It would make about as much sense to say they changed the name of basketball to sport because it is the single most boring game on the planet. Basketball is a type of sport. Sport is not a type of basketball. False equivalency. Next, let's see if the term global warming has really disappeared as some seem to have claimed. Here's a plot of the number of usages of global warming, shown in blue, compared to the number of usages of climate change, shown in red. As you can see, global warming has continued to increase in its usage over the years, just that climate change has increased faster. That doesn't mean that climate change is replacing global warming, it's just that there are a lot of aspects caused by global warming that are causing other forms of climate change. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Did climate change come first or did global warming come first? The first known use of global warming in the scientific literature was a paper by Wallace Broker in 1975 entitled Climatic Change, Are We on the Brink of Pronounced Global Warming? You will note that climate change is already part of the title. An interesting thing about Broker's paper is he made a prediction of how global warming would continue over the next few decades. This is shown here in blue. And as you can see, his, his prediction was pretty good. And if you add the more modern data and extrapolate what he did, you can see that his prediction is still working even today. So when you hear somebody say that the climate models don't work very well, Take a look at the Broker paper of 1975. The term climate change goes back a long way in history, allowing for differences in languages. Theophratus in about 300 BC described how human farming can actually change the local climate. As they drained the swamps around Athens, the climate of Athens actually changed. Shen Kuo in the 11th century found a fossilized bamboo forest in a desert and concluded that in certain areas of the world, the climate will change over time. Joseph Fourier first described the greenhouse effect in 1824. Savanti Haranius in 1898 showed that adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere uh, from industrial emissions will eventually warm the planet. And the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was formed in 1988 at the behest of Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. Now, the term global warming really didn't take off in popular literature until the 1990s under the tutelage of Al Gore. We kept on hearing they did this or they did that. In the case of climate change, who were they? They turned out to be George Bush and Dick Cheney. Following the advice of a memo from Frank Lutz, one of their uh, key political advisors, he wrote, the scientific debate is closing against us. This is the scientific debate on global warming, but it's not yet closed. Therefore, you need to continue to make the lack of scientific certainty a primary issue in the debate. The phrase of global warming should be abandoned in favour of climate change. The argument was that it was sounded less threatening. It also allowed them to keep claiming that the climate has always changed and therefore this is nothing new. Well, let's summarise the main conclusions from all of this. Global warming is a type of climate change. The two terms are not synonymous. Global warming's use has increased, just not as fast as the term climate change. 
Climate change was in use long before global warming was coined. And it was the Republicans who were responsible for the attempt to get away from the use of global warming. So when you hear somebody trying to use this argument, please tell them they're full of nonsense and post a link to this video. Until next time, goodbye.